This is going to be a video that I kind of didn't want to make, but also didn't think I would ever need to make. But it's gotten to the point to where uh, it's getting bad in the gacha communities. And uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to address it. I also got inspiration a little bit from another creator that I watched recently. And uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to just talk about this. Now, for the people that I'm going to be addressing in uh, this video, y'all are getting very ballsy. With what you're doing because in all actuality what you are doing is or could be considered illegal <laughs> like that's that's the basic premise of this video is we're going to be talking about the recent uh stuff uh, in regards to gotcha players being pdf files now why am i wanting to talk about this well one i just i i don't understand why people are coming out of the woodwork like this and doing it and two, it's just disgusting behavior and a lot of the a lot of the stuff that we're going to be seeing from these like Twitter accounts or uh, you know, other creators, I really think that this should not be allowed. Now, granted, some people will probably be like, oh, well, they're just cartoon characters. Why does it matter? Well, it's a heavily imp heavy implication on if you are looking at children characters, not characters that might be, you know, like not well endowed in the boob and butt area but like actual kid like characters that's that's where this gets really really weird now before we get into that make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified when the next video comes out um and yeah let's go ahead and i guess dive right in so the inspiration for this video was first given by this guy oni king he talked about this whole dokkan entropy uh, stuff that's going on and it's a lot there is a lot going on uh, big shout out to him for covering it because it is an hour-long video I will be leaving it uh, or leaving a link in the actual uh, description of this video so I would highly recommend that y'all you know take a look at that he did such a wonderful job on it now one of the things I w really want to talk about let's first discuss what Dokkan is Dokkan is a Dragon Ball Z IP -o owned game like it's a gotcha game. Now, what you're doing is you're basically matching the color bubbles together to get as much attack as you can to defeat your enemy across the board. Now, I used to cover Dokkan a lot on this channel. Uh, I used to be a really big fan of Dokkan. And a lot of great creators came from Dokkan that, you know, I look up to, like Nanogenix, Rhyme Style, The True DT, Toon Rami. Um, but there's this thing called private servers, right? Every game has private servers that people use, whether it be... For you to showcase units that are going to be uh, coming up or making fake units just to kind of like have fun with it. Like having Shadow the Hedgehog as a character. Now, the reason why I'm bringing up Dokkan Entropy is because I didn't, or Entropy, is not because I want, you know, to like piggyback off of this. It's more so that this is an example of it being outside of the Hoyoverse slash Kuro games side of things. And... This is a great example because literally you have this screenshot right here from one of the people. Now, this one is from Zion, from what I'm seeing, former creator for uh, Dokkan Entropy, which is basically like they would showcase stuff from these private servers. Uh, and it's it's literally this quote. Um, that's just insane to me that people are that ballsy to be able to like say something like that. Um, and it, some people could take it as a joke, but I don't really see the joke in, in this screenshot here. And there are plenty of other screenshots as well in, in this document that, uh, uh, Oni King has made, but it's a lot of stuff that I'm kind of scared to show on, uh, YouTube because it does go into pictures and stuff. They're censored, but it's still kind of a little weird. Um, I'm going to be showing kind of an example of one that I had to deal with as well later on. So we'll get into that, but... Again, like, this isn't even in the Dokkan series of things, so I really wanted to cover that one really, really quick. Uh, again, big shout-out to Oni King, but it's just disgusting behavior. What's also very disgusting behavior, and this is a more recent one in the Kuro game slash uh, Hoyoverse side of things, is with Ryuku-sensei. Now, it's not Ryuku-sensei who is the one that I want to talk about. Like, he's, he's fine. It's the people responding to his stuff, as you can see down below. And I'm not going to be reading what is said down below. This is really crazy. But basically, we were talking, not we, but 
Yuhu is going to be one of the newest characters in Weathering Waves. Yuhu is of a child body. Uh, same as Encore in the game, which don't even get me started on the Encore people, man. Um, Y'all are weird. But Yuhu, as you can see, has this little picture, and people are going a little bit ballistic. Uh, again, I'm not reading that, but that's just absolutely insane. But it even gets worse. It goes into this picture as well, where they replied after Ryuku said it was like, excuse me. And you could just see, like, it's just absolutely bonkers. To me, I'm just like, I sit here and I really wonder about this whole thing because these are the people that give all creators a bad name in the space, right? But these aren't even creators. These are just regular people. There is one creator. There is one that's been talked about before in general. And I had to dive a little bit because it's been a while since I've even looked into this person. But the one person I want to talk about is actually Ren, AKA Kabuki YouTube. Now, they still make content and they got 20,000 subscribers, which, you know, normally I'd say good for you, but not in this case, right? Now, as you can see, this person's already got some uh, questionable thingies up there with Nekomata and all that. But the one I really want to focus on, right? I'm going to scroll down here. Is this. You can see the one I highlighted right here. The definitive Honkai Star Rail Genshin Impact tier list. And then you could see what the middle thing says. Breedable. Now, people could be like, oh, wow, dude, they got like, you know, uh, Kafka up there and all that other stuff. Because I'm a DJ. Like, look, like, I, look, I got a freaking Firefly body pillow, right? You know, it is what it is. I talk about, you know, sipping over characters like Jane Doe and Kafka and all this other stuff, right? This is really different. Because, like, obviously he's not saying it within the video as well. Because I've watched the video, sadly, and it's disgusting. But he's got people, like, we'll even click on it, right? I'm not going to I'm not gonna play the actual sound. But, look, it's a breedable tier list. And he put Clara, Bailu, Huo Huo into the Honkai Star Rail part. And then you can even see, like, hold on, we're going to get through the this part. Like, this is just the get or the Honkai Star Rail part. There is the Getchin part as well that he starts doing. And, you know, like, Hu Tao, Sino, Albedo, whatever. It is what it is. And he literally puts Klee up there. Like, like here. Like, let me see if I can get the sound on this really quick. Because this is just bonkers to me. Like, he says it with his whole no. chest. Yes. Shorts. Yes. Like, he says yes. Automatically, right? And then and that's not all. He puts freaking Chi Chi up there, Nahida, freaking. I think he puts every Lolly character up there. Yeah. So there you go. You got Diona, Dory, freaking just weird stuff, man. Weird stuff. And I just, I just don't get it. I, I don't get how people could say this with their whole chest. I don't get how people could just come out and say, you know what? I'm into it. it it's just weird to me, man. I just don't get it. I don't get at all why people are like this. Now, why am I why am I bringing this up? Well, for me, this has been coming up recently, and I've also been getting it from like other people as well. And in my streams, I've had people come out and just call me a PDF file because I play Genshin Impact, because I play Honkai Star Rail. Hell, I had somebody try to say like these random ass stuff about you know, having DMs and stuff for, like, me talking to somebody, which is by far the worst accusation you can make of people, and it's disgusting. Granted, I just kind of shrugged it off or whatever, but it really got me thinking about all the recent stuff that's been going on with these games, right? It's it's deplorable, and, it, like, there's actual people out there that I think should be taken off of these social media sites, like, you know, the Dokkan Entropy people, like, you know, these these people who are talking about Yuhu and really wanting to do these nasty things to her. And also to the people who are, you know, making these breedable tier lists, uh, like Kabuki said, say, it's just disgusting to me, right? Now, there's also another thing I kind of want to show, which 
I'm going to go ahead and switch over here. I, this isn't edited. This is literally just me kind of talking. So my apologies if this uh, kind of gets people like weirded up. But I, I want to point this out as well because it, it, this happened to me during a whole unboxing thing. So don't ignore this background for a little bit, but I kind of want to show this, right? This was a Amazon review that I did. Because during one of my loot box openings, I found this Klee sticker. Now, of course, I have blurred it out and modified it so that you guys can't see it. But they, in this sticker, really, like, defined the lower half. Now, at first, when I got the sticker, I was like, oh, this is adorable. It's whatever. Just kind of doing, like, this little, like, you know, kid cannonball, like, type thing. But when you actually looked at it, it was just disgusting at the fact that they even did that. And I was, I was appalled. I, I, it literally tore down my mood. I went ahead and tried to finish up the video as quickly as I possibly could for that loot box video. Um, but yeah, it was just disgusting that this was even a thing. And people are selling the stuff and this is illegal. But the thing is, is like with the United States, it's such a gray area uh, from what I've been seeing. Now, we have this whole obscenity law thing, which deals with the regulation of, and suppression of what is considered obscenity and therefore not protected speech or expression under the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. In the United States, discussion of obscenity typically relates to defining what pornography is obscene. Issues of obscenity arise a, at federal and state levels. Now, this is also pertaining mainly to child pornography and also in regards to cartoons who basically look like children, AKA the Klees, the Chi Chi's, the Sayus, the Yoohoo's, the freaking Clara's, the Ho Ho's. And the thing is, is why it's a gray area is because there have been so many times where there's multiple cases uh, where this is brought to court and the charges are dropped. Now, what am I trying to get out with this video, right? Ultimately, I hate that the communities are becoming like this and every day I see new allegations of stuff that could be true, could be false, multiple things, right? At the end of the day, I think what we need to do obviously is we need to be reporting every single one of these people, right? And you know, people could say like, oh, they're just cartoons. Why do you care? There's, there's a gray area with that as well. Like there's characters again that are smaller builds, which makes sense. You know, it is what it is. Not every woman out in the real world is well endowed. Not every, you know, woman who's built like Hu Tao is going to be, you know, like 13, 14 years old, right? At the end of the day, though, there's a line in the sand where you have to see the character is deliberately built to be a kid. Why is it that we're allowing people to sexualize them in the way that they do? So, again, I... For people out there, like, it is what it is. Like, if you don't care, you don't care. It is what it is what it is right there. But I think that people should care. I think that people should look into this. I'm not saying, you know, oh, every character needs to be, like, assessed by their age. But you need to be able to, like, look at it and be like, you know what? That's very, very weird. Like, again, you look at a character like you who and you see these you see these creepy people you know, saying stuff like this, we should be reporting them 100%. So, I don't know. That's ultimately what I'm trying to get at. This behavior is just disgusting, man. And it sucks because as somebody who plays these games and, you know, is a content creator for these games, it's very sad to see that these people are saying the stuff that they do and they're not reported. They're just literally like, hey, it is what it is. You know, it's illegal. It's, it's supposed to be illegal. So why aren't we reporting them? Anyways, that's really all I got. Uh, if you like the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your feelings out in the comments down below. Would love to hear them. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.